Welcome back everybody. So it's been three days since our mission to Mars. Ever since we topped off the Magic Aquarium, I've noticed a lot of little babies have started to hatch. There's probably a dozen or more, way more than a dozen, There's probably 15, maybe even 20, 20 little babies in there. And all the sea monkeys on Mars are loving life. I see them swimming around, uh, they're mating. I see the baby swimming at the top. And today we're gonna aerate these tanks and feed them. Here's your packet number three. We're gonna put one scoop in our magic aquarium. And one scoops and our sea monkeys on Mars. I actually saw a little fruit fly in here. So I'm gonna take him out. Rinse that off. Sometimes I like feeding first and then aerating. That mixes the food all up. Makes it easier, especially for the babies. Makes it easier for the babies to eat. Now there's already a bunch of algae in there that these sea monkeys can eat. But feeding always helps. I'm still feeding these guys once a week. Especially when I'm seeing newborn babies like that. So originally my plan was to see what hatches, put them in the sea monkeys on Mars like we did with the other ones, and then dump this aquarium and start a new one. But I've noticed that there's a lot of babies that hatched in there. So I think I'm gonna leave them in there and see how they do. They've been crossbred through generations, so who knows, they might grow up to be bigger and tougher. And also there's been some that have been transferred in here. And they're gonna be mating with the sea monkeys on Mars. So we're getting all kinds of crossbreeding, which is pretty cool. These guys are all left behind. So let's see what they do with the planet that they were left on while the sea monkeys on Mars try to take life one step forward. <laughs> 